Hi, everyone. This is Claire at Student RDH. I just wanted to share something really important to know, which is abfraction, abrasion, erosion with you today. I got this question so many times at Student RDH, which is how do I differentiate those? And sometimes they look at the picture saying, wasn't that supposed to be abfraction? And they look at abrasion picture. So we're going to go over those because, well, they all look similar. So I just wanted to clarify something so you can finally pass your examination. And also when you have a patient, you can chart properly and being able to also help the patient um, guide them to what you think is best, whether it's brushing less hard, or sometimes that is well rinse after you drink uh, acidic beverage. So let me just share you my screen right now. So what I have pulled out for you is this book of oral pathology from Olga Ibsen. So this is the area where we talk about abrasion, abfraction, erosion. And Sometimes um, the textbook will have slightly different description of those, but basically the concept is the same. So if you have another textbook, you know, the way the exact word might be a little different. So I just wanted to share that. So let's look first at what is, well, um, attrition. So attrition is tooth to tooth or teeth to teeth, such as bruxism. So when you're grinding your teeth, the surface is going to become flat. And the first sign of attrition is, you know, when you have um, teeth, well, obviously, when they're new teeth, you have those things called the mammalon. So what it is, is on, on the tooth structure on the top, you have some of those little structure, those are called the mammalons, and they're going to start wearing off. So that is the first sign of attrition. And later, while you have really flat surfaces, cusp are cut, they're just smooth. And the top and bottom teeth are going to be like puzzle pieces because they, they've been grinding each other like that. So it's like, you know, they're going to have the, the pattern that you will be able to identify. So that is attrition, not very difficult, right? Especially a concern if the patient has big um, muscle here, you can think, okay, the, the patient have attrition, bruxism. Okay, another thing we have to look here is abrasion, as you can see over here. Now, abrasion, what it is, is before brush. So it's like, for example, your toothbrush, and you brush a little too hard. Okay, so it is this mechanical wear that is happening. What other things can cause this? Not just a toothbrush. It could be, let's say you're playing saxophone. I don't play saxophone. I don't even know really how you um, do that. But I'm just imagining you put this and maybe some surfaces will wear off because of that instrument. Or sometimes people who smoke, pipe. You know, they, you have to put the device in your mouth. Sometimes it's a habit related to your work. Sometimes, let's say you went to um, a seamstress and she put the pin in her mouth all the time. Well, that can wear, um, that can create abrasion as well. It also is related to smokeless tobacco. So let's not think always that there needs to be like a hard surface rubbing against it, although that is the most common pattern of abrasion. So when you're brushing too hard, especially. Now, I need to admit, I have here a tooth out of an abrasion. I know. I don't know how that happened. But it shows that even brushing a little too hard with hard bristles, maybe that was before I was a dental hygienist, even though I already started, is, you know, wearing the tooth surface, especially happening in kind of the gingival area or the root area, because that is softer than the enamel. So that is abrasion. And let's look at a picture here together. This is from the textbook. I do not take any credit for doing this credit all to this textbook um, that is available for you um, to purchase. So here, as you can see, there's abrasion. There's a fraction here. And I'm going to show you some more pictures here. This is actually erosion. What I want to show you is that generally this abrasion and abfraction, the they sometimes look pretty similar. Because what happens is that, well, we'll talk about abfraction in a second, but when, when you have an abfraction, which is the uh, surface just uh, chipping off basically of the tooth surface, is that, well, you have, you brush, so you're, you're going to erode it even more and more. So actually those two things can look very similar. And this is where I see the students being extremely confused. And it's not your fault at all. It's because they almost look identical. So what you really have to consider is 
asking the patient about their habit habits. How do they brush? What bristles do they use? How many times do they brush? Show me your hands. How, show me how you brush. You have other habits that I should know of. Maybe you won't know that by questioning them because you know they'll be like, no, nothing. But maybe by looking at your teeth, then maybe you can ask things like, okay, well, I see some abrasion over here and maybe there's something you want to tell me. So try to get that conversation out of your patients. So let's now talk about a fraction. A fraction is a little different. A fraction is what happened is like there's a tooth. Okay. The tooth is well, strong, but it's not so strong. Let's say this is a tooth. It's not so strong that no matter what impact comes here, this whole structure is going to stay intact. So if I put too much pressure here, some parts might start to break off, just like, you know, our building, you know, wrong, you know, they're not built to, to last forever, wind and everything, you know, obviously, oh, no, sorry, I'm just talking about actually abrasion, abrasion right now, the wind, but when you put too much pressure, okay, then it starts to flex, the tooth are not flexible, but they start to just get this a little bit of wear and chipping off by too much. I keep on saying pressure, but there could be other things such as uh, fatigue, uh, deformation. They just call it in general. So there's a little bit of a mystery of exactly how that happens, but it's not really that we have to know this. We just need to know that the tooth is not this di rock, you know, this diamond that's going to stay with us forever. It is susceptible to um, chipping or wear because of too much stress. So that is abfraction. As you can see, that abfraction has nothing to do with um, habits. It's, it's, uh, habits is really about abrasion in general. Now, going back again to the pictures here, this is an abfraction, but usually what happens is that abfraction happens. And again, with brushing and just our normal habits, we are creating this ledge, okay? So they call it usually the V or wedge shape notch that is getting bigger and bigger. So that is abfraction. I hope we understand this. Now, let's finally talk about erosion. Erosion happens because of acid. Acid from what? Soda, acid from food. What about acid from acid reflex? That happens too. What about acid from conditions such as bulimia, vomiting, very acidic, right? So all those things are where destroying the structure of your teeth. When erosions is happening, you're going to see the tooth being a little lighter in color, as you can see, or no, sorry, darker in color, because that's the dentin layer. The enamel layer is wider. The dentin layer is yellower. That's why you can see those yellow spots. Usually when there's erosion, that affects multiple teeth. An abrasion or abrasion can happen in one, one tooth sometimes two, sometimes three, but abrasion, oh, no, sorry, erosion because it's acid. Well, we don't put acid just in one tooth, right? It's just a general area. Here, another example of uh, erosion, which is more on the cervical surface over here, as you can see, because that is weaker than the enamel. And here, lingual probably related to uh, purging, bulimia again. And you see the size of the teeth have actually shrunk as well. So that is erosion. And when erosion happens, one really important thing is that you should not advise them to brush immediately because the, um, the surface is already softer. They're already damaged. Therefore, what we have to do is have them rinse, wait a little bit, and then brush later because we don't want to keep brushing on that surface that's been already damaged. It's going to damage it more. I hope that makes sense. So that is um, erosion. So what my whole point of this video more is to help you understand that by just looking at it, sometimes it is difficult to understand what has happened. In this case, yes, we understand. In this case, we're looking at this and thinking, okay, what, what is this? You know, it's not always obvious thinking, oh, erosion, oh, abfraction, oh, abrasion. Sometimes they look very similar. It's not black and white. It's a gray area and everything we do in dentistry, actually, unless we're talking about bacteria. So I want you to look at the history of the patient instead of jumping into conclusions saying, this is it. Let's ask some questions. And if you are trying to solve a case study because of the national examination, look at every single word in that case to help you understand what is going on and what kind of advice you would like to give the patient. So I shared my screen here. That was um, 
from the textbook. That was the oral pathology textbook. And one last thing I would love to show you is actually this study. Again, to illustrate to you how, well, not everything is black and white. So this is a study and I do not take any credit for it. It's about tooth wear. And um, it, it looks like it's from Spain, but I just wanted to see pictures with you. Okay, so attrition, we can identify those, right? Okay, not too difficult here, but this is abrasion. And what I want you to think is, does this look like a tree? Uh, no, so oppression as well. Yes, it does, right? That V slash um, wedge shaped notch that they call it. I was trying to find my words. But abrasion can also look like this. So again, let's not judge based on the appearance of what's going on. Okay, and this is a fraction. So between this and this, we're a little lost, right? So that's why we have to pay attention to every single detail of what's going on uh, in the patient's life, not just their teeth, their appearance of that. So I just wanted to quickly bring the study so that you can see that a lot of people have done work on this. And just to really give us some uh, explanation or some images on how to identify um, those areas. So today, again, we talked about well, abrasion, abfraction, erosion, and then attrition. Very important concept. And honestly, sometimes well, I don't know if abfraction actually happened, honestly. Like, I'll, you know, if I had to write my clinical notes, I would usually write abrasion just because I see a notch and, you know, it's hard to describe, like, did the patient have a fraction because it was too much pressure? The tooth was too much stress. I mean, we're not living with them. And even if we were, we're not really sure. So usually I read that there was an abrasion, but Hey, let's find out more information about that. Let's always be curious. Let's always be an investigator in everything that we do. So that was it friends. Um, that was about all the different tooth wearing that you can see uh, the most common ones being abrasion as i told you since i already have one over here in here um i had an endo a long time time ago i don't even want to tell you about that i see the margin well that that has nothing to do really with but with brushing per se but it just reminds me that i have to be careful with my dominant hand because as you can see this is what i do and this is exactly where i have this abrasion so i hope this does not happen to you but um to your patients, I hope you can always give them the best advice. So thank you. This was Claire at Student RDH.